Well, here we go. We've got the scientific method used in industry, in this case, agricultural industry. by Wisconsin River Co-op. And we have a rain gauge. We have a rain gauge that somebody is reading. Okay. And we have varieties. Look at this. It's huge. We have varieties of different kinds of corn. Now, We don't know exactly what they've got here because that's their industrial secret. But, hmm, trait 149. Trait 149. All right. Cropland by Winfield. Right traits. This company is showing us that they are doing research to try to determine some aspect of corn which will give farmers a better set of production. And this is the way that industry at all levels uses the scientific method to make money because they determine what genetics work the best in different areas. They might be studying the type of soil. In this case, I don't know what they're studying. It's probably, look at this, 155. It's probably the type or the genetics of the corn. Here's 156. Okay. And here's 157. So they've got different plots. Let's go through here and see if there's replication. I bet you there is. They've got replication. Uh, nuts. This is silage or field corn. I can't steal any to eat it, so uh, it's not worth much to me. Ooh, look at this. Here on this side where they can't see it from the road is the kind or the variety. They've got a number on it. Well, let's see what they got over here. Look at this. Look at this. This is one heck of a study. It's all fixed up. This is 457. Look at this. So, the scientific method is being used by industry, in this case the agricultural industry, and in particular a company that produces seed that they sell to farmers to try to figure out which variety or what genetics of corn is best to grow under these conditions. Look at this. Replications. It's a big deal. This is how industry makes money. This is how you ultimately will probably learn to assess different types of management strategies to make money. The scientific method in action. And ultimately the Cooperative Extension Service from the University of Wisconsin or the company who sells these different seeds will use this information to promote its product to farmers. So the reason you are learning the scientific method is so that you
can make more money in your future. Whether you are in business yourself or whether you work for somebody else who is. Pretty interesting stuff and pretty dramatic. What if you made $10 more per acre per year from 100,000 acres? Or maybe even just 10,000 acres? Think about it. This is a big deal. This is not a joke. This is something that is extremely important. What is this? And they're publishing their experimental design. And they're telling us what it's all about. We just don't know what the numbers mean. The male in Cropland 5415 SS is related to the male ooh, in Cropland 3415. Combined with some unrelated genetics. <coughs> so this is genetically modified corn. Maybe, maybe, I don't know for sure, but maybe we're making corn that's going to be used in making gasohol, and we want to know how to make the most gasohol to cut our energy bills. Interesting. This is important stuff. So maybe some of you who think this is serious will make really good incomes in the future. And those of you who don't think it's serious, well, you can stay on welfare or whatever the rest of your life. Okay, bye.